what is going on guys tuft here and today i'm bringing you part three in the juan deegan for skins series a little mini series happening here on my channel as part of an operation vanguard mission i need to get kills with the deagle on deathmatch dust 2 uh, so far we've had two other parts in this series it's been a lot of fun and i'm hoping to continue on with the juan deegan and the live commentary action so um yeah we've got another 10 minute uh, deathmatch lobby going on here. I do not want it. Oh, behind you, bro. Oh, get knifed, bro. All the people in the lobby are talking about Obama supporters, and I don't understand. Oh, get wandy, bro. Get wandy. Alright. But yeah, like I was saying in my last video, I didn't really have time to talk about it so much. As much as I want it to anyway um, some people think the new chroma case skins aren't as good uh, as some of the other cases and honestly I don't think so like some people are complaining they're like dude operation Vanguard cases sucked uh, as far as skins that go they were all kind of playing all kind of remakes of previous skins that have already been in existence uh, for a while and I kind of agree operation Vanguard uh, there aren't a lot of skins that I liked from Operation Vanguard. But as far as Chroma goes, there's a lot of Chroma skins that I like. Uh, let's see, just a couple off the top of my head. The AK Cartel, absolutely beautiful. I cannot uh, wait till I get my hands on one of those. I might try and, I might try and acquire one uh, soon. Because I think those are very, very sexy. If I could ever get like a Stat Track AK Cartel, I would probably never buy another AK skin ever and that's kind of my goal is to eventually hey yo 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 knife knife all right you to fag but uh... all right never mind I was hoping I could get that nice two piece there but anyway like I was saying the AK Cartel, I would probably never buy another skin in my life if I got a stat track AK Cartel. Uh, but to be honest with you, any skin that I have stat track right now, I'm probably never going to buy another skin for that gun for. Because like I want to I want to stat track my stats forever, you know? And uh, if you have an AK or an M4 skin that's stat track, why would you ever buy another one? Because it's like... You don't want to start from scratch again, dude. You you take pride in all the kills that you have on that stat track weapon. And to be honest, I have a stat track weapon for uh, the Galil, for the USPS, which is my favorite pistol. Uh, I have one for the P2000. So I'm trying to get a stat track skin as of right now for all of the uh, f like starting pistols for both T and CT. I actually have a really nice Glock skin. I have a factory new Candy Apple. I actually got it as a drop. I was playing a deathmatch, I think, doing an Operation Vanguard mission as it was, and um, I was playing another operation that was similar to getting Deagle kills. I think it was like Tech Nine kills or something, uh, similar uh, challenge. But I ended up getting the factory new Glock 18 Candy Apple, and I was so happy because it's a very, very clean-looking skin, and uh, it was actually worth more than the other skin I had at the time, which was a factory new uh, Glock 18 Grinder. And I liked the grinder, it was alright. Um, just the variation that I had, the way the colors, you know, sort of showed up. I actually did a factory new Glock Grinder Showcase, which was the one I had. Uh, and that was a video that went up on this channel a while ago, I think, actually. So, you guys can check that out if you would like. I think it was just like a one or two minute showcase of the skin in different graphic settings. It was actually on Dust 2. And then I think I got a quick ace with it on bots or something. It was just a, a quick video so I could show it off because it looked pretty nice. Oh, damn, that was nice. That was a freaking nice deeg right there. There's nothing more satisfying than clicking your mouse once, watching the slide come back on that deeg, and then, you know, the bullet flies out of the barrel. Two and a half milliseconds later, on your screen, someone shows up dead, and you know that you just got the nice wand deeg, and it's just, it's very satisfying. Especially if it's a headshot, and you get, like, one or two in a row, just boom. Just like that. Oh, I could have gotten two right there, but it's alright. But yeah, there's nothing more satisfying than a Wandeeg or just like the nastiest op flick shot. I think those are nice too. Just but Wandeegs, dude, there's just something 
something nice about the pistol. It's like, yeah, you just got wrecked. Because, I mean, everyone can do, uh, everyone can get a nice op shot at once in a while. Everyone can get lucky with the op, but with the deagle, you gotta have some, you gotta have some skill happening, like, headshotting like that through a box. Bruh, takes skill. It takes all the skill. Um, I actually don't know if you guys can hear the people talking in the lobby right now, but they're kind of being obnoxious. Oh. Oh, goddamn. <clears throat> but yeah, back to the chroma case thing. Uh, chromas, I think they're pretty sweet. Uh, I'm so happy that I got one of the chroma cases while they were still worth like three or four dollars though because I sold that shit instantly and uh, I knew that if I sold the chroma case then and there uh, I would eventually be able to buy like probably two chroma cases for the case price that I sold it for so I mean it ended up working out but um I think there are some chroma skins that look really nice and some other ones uh, that are just kind of like eh. Um, the AK cartel awesome the P250 Muertos eh. It's it's okay. It reminds me a lot of the P250 Cartel, but just with a red over skin or whatever, like a red overlay. And I mean, it really it didn't change that much. I don't think it's a very different skin from the Cartel, other than the fact that it's red and black uh, compared to the gray and black of the uh, Cartels. Oh God damn! I should have knocked that hoe. I had him on the ropes. Oh, see like that when they just walk right into your crosshair. That's satisfying too. But yeah, the cartel and the muertos, I don't think they look that different. Uh, muertos means dead in Spanish, if you guys didn't know. That's kind of the story behind that, I guess. If you hadn't figured that out already or looked it up on your own time. Marky Mark going huge right now with the M4. But uh, yeah, the P250 muertos, I don't really like. Uh, the Man of War for the op looks absolutely beautiful. Blue and yellow are my favorite colors, as you guys have probably figured out by like the overlay I have. And the channel banner that I have and all that stuff, it's all blue and yellow. Um, so the Man of War is just like my skin, dude. I have to acquire one of those at some point. And why did it not give me my Deek, the auto buy though? I got that auto buy. There we go. Oh, goddamn, getting double teamed. But yeah, the Man of War, freaking beautiful skin. I cannot uh, believe what would happen like the reaction I would have if I ever unboxed one of those that would be absolutely ridiculous um, the Galil Chatterbox believe it or not that is probably the best Galil skin I've ever seen only because uh, the mouth on the side of the Chatterbox when you shoot it actually looks like it's uh, it's like talking it's actually a very cool dynamic I'm glad to see that um, uh, that Steam and Valve and all those, all mostly just Gaben, but like that they're putting, you know, dynamics into their weapon skins now instead of just like having a uh, cool design or whatever. But the dynamics of the Galil AR Chatterbox are very cool, and I'm focusing too hard on talking and not playing the game right now, so I need to get dialed back in. But yeah, the J Galil Chatterbox, awesome skin. Did I actually just get an assist right there? Galil Chatterbox is cool. What's another skin I like? Um, oh, M4A4 Dragon King. That is a nice skin. I would actually consider stopping using the M4A1S forever and using solely the M4 if I got a Dragon King. Because that skin is just worth it. I, I can't believe it. That is actually one of the coolest skins uh, that I have seen in a long time for the M4A4 because the M4A4 doesn't have any cool skins. It's got the Bullet Rain, the X-Ray, the Desert Strike, and they're all kind of just mediocre skins. They're not super exciting. I mean, the Bullet Rain's got some pretty colors on it, but other than that, it's not really that different. Uh, the X-Ray is kind of cool. I like the blue and white theme. It looks nice. They really uh, just look good on the gun. The Desert Strike, I actually have one, and um, it's okay. But I mean, it's just there aren't any other good skins, and that is a fantastic looking weapon, and I just, it's absolutely beautiful. Other than that, I don't really know what else I would want from the Chroma cases. Uh, I do like the system lock for the M249 or whatever that LMG is called. Oh, the long range one, Deke. 
There we go. Out of baby. Uh, the system lock looks good. The Mac 10 like Malachite or Malachite. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. It's like a green. It's like a gl neon glowing kind of skin. It actually looks nice. It's got um, a pretty interesting feel to it. I just it's different. I like skins that are different. I don't like skins that are the same as every other one. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It's gonna wrap up another death match. And uh, I don't know how many more kills we need to get, but we're gonna continue this in the next episode. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Peace.